Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be visiting the home of golf, St Andrews Old Course. This is the 150th Open Championship LiDAR version and this was designed by the very talented Yeltsman. This course did host the most recent Open in 2022 which was won by Cameron Smith. So it is a par 72, fairways and greens are farmed, the green speeds are fast, weather is clear, time of day is morning. I would fully advise favouriting this course so it's always going to be a playable option for you. But let's check out the tee options. There are four tee options. We will be swinging from the Tiger tees which are playing 7,313 yards and as always pin set number one. So excited to be playing as Tiger Woods here around this world famous golf course. But as always guys, thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. If you are new, please make sure to smash the subscribe button and if you do enjoy the content, please leave a like. So here we are on the opening hole. How impressive does it look? This is a carbon copy of the 150th open venue and I cannot wait to play. So with Tiger and that 11 mile per hour win behind us, let's go three wood. We will deal off it, try and take the water out of play here. This is going to leave me nothing more than a pitch, even a flop shot across the stream into the first green. But I don't know what it is when I play as Tiger, his swing really affects my swing time and just the animation of it. But it is going to be a pitch shot, just going to be a little bit long here. So let's go full loft and full backspin and try and get this ball zipping back towards the flag stick. We will try a slight partial as well. Great execution, tiny fast, but this ball should spin back at least 10 feet. Quite surprised at that, didn't generate anywhere near as much spin as I had hoped. The green speeds are 160. Just going left hand side of the cup here, that should start to turn. And what a way to start our round here with Tiger. Great opening birdie. It really is fantastic playing this historic golf course with the legend of golf that is Tiger Woods. So this wind's probably going to be beneficial for me with the first five, six holes. The wind should be constantly behind me the way the course is laid out. There's a huge fast. Fortunately, that should just about hold the left-hand side of the fairway. Horrible swing line there as well. The golfing gods keeping us in play there. So I could well be in between clubs here with that 13 mile per hour wind. I just need to play for that slope. I'm going to have to pitch this with a pitching wedge. We are just going to apply a lot of loft, full backspin, try and play for the slope, just defending the pin. That's a superb execution. Surely this runs out. That should start to make its way down towards the cup. There's no way it sits there. Honestly, oh, wow. Another inch, and that would have been down on the level shelf with the pin. And this is now a really difficult downhill putt. This is going to turn from left to right. Just so unfortunate there. Thought I played the percentage golf shot. Is that going to turn? It's trying to. That really needs to stop. It was always going to be difficult to get the right weight there due to the slope. But still a lot of work to do just for the par save. 18 feet out, uphill. Slight turn from right to left. We've got the weight. And we've got the read. So solid par. Disappointed with my approach shot there. That was just pure unlucky. Nothing I could have done. Thought I played a good shot. And we do move on to hole number three. This could well be drivable. We may reach the front edge of the green here with Tiger. Just applied a tiny bit of fade. Need to tidy up my swing light. Is this going to kick up onto the front of the green? No. Just not going to have the legs. Needed another three, four yards carry in the air. That is going to leave me a difficult flop shot. Certainly want to be short of the pin here. Anything long, that ball will disappear down the slope to the left. It's a good execution and hopefully it runs out and checks up. That's a fantastic approach shot. Played that really, really well. That is going to ensure my second birdie off the round. So unlucky not to be three under, but we are two under take that any day of the week and we move on to hole number four I think this is the longest par four on the course coming in at 494 yards fading this against the wind taking it down the right hand side 
And that is going to comfortably find the left-hand side of this fairway. But I just love Lynx Golf. I love the strategy behind it. And I love playing this golf course. Tiger has got a huge gap in his wedges here. 112 to 151. Even with full loft and full backspin, pitching wedge is going to be far too long. Let's go with Sam Wedge. Let's apply full D loft and a little bit of topspin. Try and play for the center of the green and hopefully it runs out. It's a good execution. I'm not sure how far this ball will run out. Just really in between clubs there. I certainly wasn't pitching it. Just such an unrealistic golf shot, especially on a golf simulation game. But why we're 71 feet short. This ball is uphill by two feet. Just try to lag this as close as possible. The last 10 feet, this is going to break hard right. I don't think I've hit it firm enough. It was a good attempt. It's left me a little seven foot putt. Just going left hand side edge. This putt is going to turn right. I'm white. I played the green grid there, guys. Looking back at it, how did that not turn? That is bizarre. But yet, again, nothing seems to amaze me with this game at times. That is a real disappointing bogey. Hopefully, that's not a sign of things to come. So once again, we do have wind advantage. Short par five here. We will comfortably reach this in two. That's going to be nothing more than a, a mid-range iron into this large green. 176 yards, that 14 mile per hour wind behind me. It's going to be a nine iron. I'm trying to land this just short of the green, play that uphill slope. Needs to go a little bit. Fantastic strike. This should run out now. Playing the conditions and a little bit of course knowledge really helping me out in that approach shot. There was no way I was getting that to stop. But loving the pin placements from the 150th open here. This is a really good eagle opportunity. I've certainly got the weight. Now that needs to turn back and it should. Oh, it just burns by the right hand side. Just misread that. And I've got a feeling this is just going to be one of these days where we have no luck on the greens. But hole number six, it's another short par four. This should be nothing more than a drive and pitch. Just hitting tiny fast off my tee shot. Need to slow that down a little bit. But that ball is running on for days and that's going to leave me nothing more than a flop shot, I think. Yeah, it is going to be a flop shot. I've got ideal yardage here. So I can fully attack this. But I think Tiger failed to make the cut in the 150th Open back in 2022. But that's a fantastic approach shot. That should set up another good birdie opportunity here. Hopefully we can convert this putt. It's eight feet out. A little bit of movement from left to right. Pin high. And wow, that ball turned as much as that. I am really struggling on the greens here so far. And it's a pity. Because we are playing well, swinging well from, from tee to green. And that's my second or third putt that I just should not be missing. Sadly, I remain at two under. But that is the way the cookie crumbles. I think this is reachable with that wind behind me. Let's see if we can carry this bunker. Just going to try and overpower this a little bit. What's the yardage? 321 yards. I think it's going to be close. I think it's worth the risk. Risk reward shot coming up here. Just going to take a quick practice swing. 102% perfect. That would be good. Got the perfect, but I have pushed my swing line right. That needs to get up. Are we going to get a member's bounce? No, that's going to kick back into the, the sand trap. Had to take that on. This is going to be difficult to get this ball stopping, but I'm going to try and land it on the fairway and let it run down towards the flag stick. Is it going to check up, though? No, that ball's going to run on a fair bit. It is going to leave me another makeable putt for birdie. But the way I'm putting at the moment, my chances of converting this are, are very slim. At least it's uphill so I can be aggressive. Now that should start to turn. Oh, it's on a good line. Oh, it just turned late. We had the weight. 
And it's another birdie putt that burns the edge of the cup. And this is so frustrating. I remain at two under par. Hole number eight. This is a tough pin. I'm going to try and run this up the slope, defending the flag stick here. Just going to apply full top spin with a four iron, land it short of the slope, and hopefully the ball's got enough momentum to run up to the top tier of the green. It's a good strike. It's going to be a little bit more left than I had hoped. Surely that stays. That is a fantastic... Oh, no, it's coming back down. Would you believe it? This is just so unfortunate. We're playing good golf here, just not getting the reward. You're talking margins here. Long putt uphill. Moving from left to right. It's on a good line. Have we hit it? We have hit it. And that drops right into the heart of the cup. You couldn't make it up. I've missed three or four easier putts. And I then go and convert probably the toughest putt or the second toughest putt of the round for the birdie. But the final hole of the front nine. Short par four. The wind has switched. It's now into my face here. But just going to try and avoid the bunkers on the right-hand side. We did apply a tiny bit of draw. That's heading for the bunker, would you believe it? My swing line there probably being the factor. A slight push right. That's disappointing because I really wanted to avoid this fairway bunker. And that's going to be nothing more than a pitch shot. We can be aggressive here. It's a fairly easy pin location over on the left-hand side. I don't need to do anything with a sandwich. Just play the shot. This should sit down pretty quickly. That is a fantastic recovery shot from the sand. It's left me another really good birdie opportunity. It's a nine foot putt with very little movement. Let's just play this farm and take a little bit of the break out of the equation. Unfortunately, that drops. It is my fifth birdie of the round. Just disappointed about the bogey earlier in the round, but I do move to four under par. Hole number 10. We probably can reach the front of the green here. Let's see if we can overpower this. 10 mile per hour wind behind me. It's a far superior swing line. Didn't get any overpower whatsoever. But we are going to reach the front of the green. Is it going to get up there, up this false front? No. But once again, it's left me a flop shot. 58 yards out, let's play the pitching wedge, let's apply full backspin, and hopefully with that wind behind it, we can get this nestling down next to the pin. I only got 96% power, and that tiny slope, that has came up way short. That was a poor shot. Should have been talking about a five, six foot putt at worst there for the birdie. It's now 37 feet downhill, turning from left to right. Let's give it a chance, though. Make sure it gets there. I've definitely got the weight. Now, this is on a good line. It should turn back. And it's... Oh, my goodness. That looked as if it was center cup. I cannot believe that. That just really sums up this round so far. No luck whatsoever. I mean, if I was 70 under here just now, I don't think anyone would have any complaints. But that's the way it's going. So, once again, wind advantage. Seven iron is going to be ideal for this. If anything, it may be a little bit long. It's a really nice swing. We get the perfect. That needs to get down. Hopefully it holds the green. It's a really good approach shot. Got to be happy with that. It just holds the back of the green. It's going to be a 15-foot putt. This will turn from right to left, especially the first six foot of the putt. See if we can get the read in the, the weights here. That's got a chance of turning. It does turn. And at long last, I make a notable putt. It does move me to five under par. And I am really enjoying this version of the course. It's the best version of St. Andrews available on PGA Tour 2K23 by a country mile so far. We're going to have to try and create a shot here. Let's try and run this down the rough on the left-hand side. Taking that bunker out of play. We get the fast. This should comfortably kick through the rough and hopefully leave me nothing more than a, a chip and run up to the pin. But that's worked out really, really well. Well manufactured shot there. It's actually going to be a flop shot. I've got a flop shot that will go 39 yards with Tiger. Certainly don't want to be short. Certainly don't want to be long. So full backspin. Let's be fully uh, aggressive here. It's a lovely execution. I'm quite surprised that ball travelled as far as that. 
it's a pretty straightforward putt. Not a lot of turn. It should turn, but not too much. Would have liked this putt closer. I've got the weight. That ball is turning. And it's another putt that burns the edge of the cup. I just cannot seem to make a putt today. I fear to see my putting stats at the end of the round. Like I say, we should be comfortably under par here. I know we're five under, playing on master swing difficulty. But I truly feel as if I should be 9-10 under at this stage. That's how well we're playing. But let's draw this tee shot into the wind. There's another perfect. That should carry the bunker. It's actually going to be a lot closer than I expected. That 13 mile per hour wind really holding me up. Good outcome though. We're on a nice level surface off the fairway. And once again, I do have a slope to play for. That bunker is in play. Just in between clubs, that 13 mile per hour wind will really hold me up. So let's go eight iron here with a little bit of backspin. Just try to find that slope. And hopefully it releases out towards the pin. It's a lovely strike. This is all over it like a rash. Hopefully it sits down pretty quickly once it comes off the slope. That is a fantastic golf shot. I don't think I could have got any closer than that. I think we've had a birdie putt on every single hole so far. I could be wrong. I'm sure you guys who are interested in the stats will correct me. Now surely this turns. It didn't turn. It just burns the edge of the cup again. I just cannot make a putt here. I'm amazed that ball didn't turn more. It's disappointing and it's frustrating because I'm playing some good golf shots here. I'm just not dropping the birdie opportunities. I will remain at five under. But hole number 14, 612 yards, longest hole on the course into the wind. I don't think we'll be reaching this in two. See how Tiger's lie stats are with, with driver off the deck. But I think it's going to be a three-shot par. Par five. Yeah, we're not going to reach. Three would certainly not get in me there. Let's hit driver. It's not the worst of stats. We may get up to the front of the green. Uh, it's a big fast. I have fortunately pushed my, my swing line right. But I don't think it's going to get there. It's probably going to run all the way off this little slope. But it is going to be a nice little chip shot from 21 yards out. Certainly don't want to be left of the pin here. So making sure I'm playing for the right-hand side of the, the flag stick. That should bite. It's reluctantly slowing up, but it's a good shot. It should guarantee another birdie, this time from nine feet out. Don't want to be too aggressive here. That should turn. It does turn. And at long last, I do drop a birdie putt. It gets me to six under par. And hole number 15. Once again, we are going to be hindered by this strong headwind. I'm just playing for the rough on the left-hand side and applying a tiny bit of fade. Let the wind do the rest. There's that tiny fast that I've experienced for the majority of the round off the tee box. It is going to kick over to the left-hand side. But look how accurate this venue is. I'm loving the grandstand and the crowds. But nine iron should be made for this. We've got a diagonal 13 mile per hour wind. So let's aim left off the flag stick and see if we can get this one dialed in. It's a lovely strike. Oh no, that wind has shifted me a lot more to the right than I allowed for. Quite surprised at that. It was a diagonal wind. We are pin high. Yardage was superb. Disappointed with that. But let's see if we can make this uphill birdie putt. 33 feet out. Shifting from left to right. I don't think I've hit that firm enough. It's on a really good line too. That's going to come up short. That's a pity. That wind influenced the shot a lot more than I allowed for. But it's going to be a solid part. It keeps me at six under. We do move on to hole number 16. This is a tight fairway and we should have out of bounds right and left here. Let's just double check. Yeah. Really have to find the fairway here. Bunkers and play down the left hand side as well. So playing the wind. Nice. Tiny fast. That's a good strike. And that is going to comfortably find the right hand side of this fairway. It's going to leave me a nice angle to go and attack the pin. 
Certainly not pitching it. Not a nine iron. Oh, wow. I'm going to be really in between clubs here with Tiger. There's that gap. I'm going to have to try and manufacture the sand wedge here. So a good bit of deal off. Feel top spin. Got to put a good strike on this. That's a fast. And with the amount of shaping I have applied, that's going to be fully punished. That's disappointing. I'm quite surprised that the... The gap in yardage Tiger has. But let's see if we can chip this one in. If not, put it extremely close. Good execution. Is it going to run out for me? Come on, get in. I think that just about sums up my round today. We played some fantastic golf. Just had very little luck on the greens and some poor misreads. The hole number 17. Probably one of the most famous holes in the world of golf. Look at that. Absolute ridiculous scenes. Just gorgeous. This really is a remarkable golf course. OB down the right hand side as you would imagine. There's probably been many a window broke down here over the years. Oh, I've had a huge fast. And with that little bit of draw, this is going into the, the heavy rough. And it's not a place you want to be with this tough green coming up. That's a poor shot. That's probably our first fairway we've missed in the entire round. I'm not sure if we can run it up here. I think we may get to the front of the game with three iron, but it's going to be a very difficult up and down shot. This is probably one of the toughest greens on the course, especially with its pin location. That's going to come all the way off. This is now a tough shot just for the up and down. We can chip it. Let's go Sam Wedge. Let's apply a good bit. Let's actually go Pitching Wedge. Let's go full backspin. Fully attack it. Play the break on the green. And hopefully set up a good par putt. Superb execution. Now, this should sit. I didn't get any traction there whatsoever. That's ran on due to the subtle slope. Quite surprised that that ball didn't check up quicker. And this is a massive putt just for the par. I've under hit it. I've just not been good enough on the greens today. Sadly, that's another bogey. My score just certainly doesn't reflect how well I've played this round. That takes me back down to five under par. And we move on to the final hole of this epic golf course. I thoroughly enjoyed my round with Tiger Woods. Like I say, his swing animation puts me off a little bit. I just find it hard to get a fluent rhythm. That's an enormous tee shot there. So 32 yards out. Let's try and play another chip shot. Let's see if we can go out with a chip in birdie. Give the, the fans something to cheer for. This has got a chance, by the way. Get in. Get in. No way. It hits the flag stick. Doesn't drop. It's going to ensure me a birdie. That ball needs to stop. And it's just been one of these rounds, guys, where nothing is happening for me. Hopefully we have a little bit more luck in the upcoming rounds. But let's see if we can convert this for a birdie, which we do. But what a fantastic round of golf at an epic venue. But that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. But until then, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.